Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. Ah, got a damn tear in my shoulder, man. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Let's fix this damn camera real quick. Okay. So Terrence Crawford, he is going to be fighting very soon. Uh, matter of fact, next Saturday, man, 10 December. Fighting the Vanessian. It's going to be $40 on uh, pay-per-view. It's going to be on BLK Prime, of course. Now, the thing is, they got a... They got a pretty decent card. Uh, Chris Cyborg, you know, the MMA legend is going to be fighting on there. I initially felt that they were just throwing her on there to try to help with pay-per-view sales. But uh, it looks like there, there, there's, a, there's definitely a method to the madness of BLK Prime, as this is really the first notable boxing event they're putting on. But this is the deal. Eddie Hearn, hold your horses. Now, I get it. A lot of people, now this is what's crazy, right? I'm going to break this down for you. A lot of people don't want to see Crawford do well with this whole BLK Prime event because it's sour that he chose to walk away from the Spence fight. Doesn't matter if you agree with him walking away or if you don't agree with him. Doesn't matter if you believe him or you believe the Spence side, the Heyman side. All of that doesn't matter. What matters is he chose to do what's best for him. At the end of the day, I understand the argument of Crawford going out. Now, this is something... Well, I'm, let me finish my thought. I understand the argument about him going to fight this number six ranked guy. Now, Avanda Sian, people keep calling this man a bum. I don't know how you can call him a bum when he's cut from the same cloth as Baval, as Bernabeev, as the Klitschko's. He comes from that same... Uh, school of boxing, that same Russian, uh, uh, what's that called? Um, uh, there's a, not a cordo, man. They say it a lot in education, man. But um, anyway, he comes from that, from that, from that same group, right? That 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 same kind of org organization. So so he can fight. Now I happen to watch him and uh, who the hell was I watching him fight yesterday? It wasn't no damn Josh Taylor. It was one of the, the guys from the UK who was an Olympian, great fighter. And in the first early rounds, he was given a Van Sien problems. Um, buzzed him in the first round, but then you just saw, like you see with some of these, these, these tough Russian fighters, they just start, keep working, breaking you down, working, working, get stronger as the fight goes on. And the next thing you know, they get a knockout, or they force the other guy's corner to throw in the um, towel. Yeah, I know some of y'all remember Vasily Giroff, right? Vasily Giroff was a terror until he ran to James Tony, just breaking guys down. Another one of those tough Russian fighters. So with Ivan Asian, I just don't think he's—I don't think he's a bum. I don't think it's an easy fight. Will Crawford hurt him early in the fight? Probably. Will Crawford finish him? Depends on the referee, because we all know. With these referees, especially after seeing what the hell this damn Manny Pacquiao situation, that referee saying he was, uh, you know, knew how to do a slow count and stuff like that. We know referees can cause some drama. Now, they can sit there, man, and Crawford hurts him and stop the fight kind of prematurely and have everybody piss. Or Van der Sien can touch Crawford, and you may see the other extreme. And that referee better get his ass out of Omaha because them Nebraskans Got to take some of them damn cobs of corn and push them deep up in his cockle hole because they're not going to let that happen. But what I'm saying about Terrence Crawford is he he should win this fight, but it's not going to be an easy fight. I, I just don't think so. So when people are calling this guy a bum, I just think that's unfair. Now, the other thing, $10 million Crawford's supposed to be making. I am now hearing that it's $10 million for the for the fight. And Crawford gets seven, Vanessian gets a portion of that. Okay, so I don't know if it's a seven million for Crawford, three for Vanessian. That whole breakdown, I'm not clear on it. But I'm hearing from like the, the, the fight hypes and, and some of the, in, there's an interview where they're talking to Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn says that Crawford's making 10 million and the guy from Fight Hype says, no, it's more like seven million. So, Obviously, there's something out there where Crawford isn't getting the whole 10. He's getting, I think, 7. Now, that's news to me. I haven't been able to 
find any source documents or any interviews with Crawford saying that. But obviously, there's some little pockets of conversations that have taken place or that has been unearthed that Crawford isn't getting the whole 10 mil to herself. 10 mil for the fight, 7 for Crawford, and a portion goes to Havana So, so, So it is what it is. But since we're talking about Eddie Hearn and him doing interviews, Fast and Furious Eddie Hearn, who's a hater, he is going on record and saying he predicts that Crawford and Havana Sian only do 7,000 pay-per-view buys. Now, that is just hating at its finest. But what, what else would you expect from Eddie Hearn? What, um, what these guys at BLK Prime are trying to do, now don't get me wrong, they're not, they're not really proven yet. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, I give it probably a second or third pay-per-view event to see how the numbers do any better. But on BLK Prime, they're doing the same thing that Eddie Hearn was over there trying to do with the zone. The thing is, Eddie Hearn had a $1 billion budget, and he didn't create one superstar. You know, Bob Arum ripped into Eddie Hearn this past weekend about saying how everyone in the States sees Eddie Hearn as a joke. All the promoters see him as a joke. Now, the thing is this, right? We don't really get a peek behind the tent flaps on the conversations between these promoters and other promoters. We don't get all the particulars. I think we get, we get a... Sometimes we get a handful of information that, that, that's kind of, you know, delivered to us through these different outlets. And sometimes it's not very explicit. It's very vague. And we are kind of left to kind of form our own opinion and draw our own, you know, facts from it, which everyone has a different opinion and feel they're entitled to their own facts, which they're not. But the thing is this, Eddie Hearn, he didn't really do what he was supposed to. And for those who were saying Eddie Hearn turned Canelo into a pay-per-view star, yo, let's not take it to the stupid. How the hell did Eddie Hearn turn Canelo into a pay-per-view star, a pay-per-view attraction? Canelo was already a star, an attraction, before he hooked up with Eddie Hearn in the zone. Now, we got to be fair. De La Hoya did that. Okay, yeah, Canelo had Mexican fighter, could barely speak any English at the time. Man had red hair, young as hell, turned pro, I think, what, 15 or something, and could fight. So he had, he was easy to market. Redhead, they said he he had red hair, he was Mexican with red hair, and looked like an Irishman. That's the thing, uh, Harold Letterman, uh, not, not Harold Letterman, uh, that crazy one that was trying to, what the hell was it? Larry Merchant, crazy ass Larry Merchant. He went on there and he said that. So for, 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 for Eddie Hearn to try to say that he's the one to turn Canelo to a pay-per-view star, nah, man. You, you, what happened is Can, Oscar De La Hoya played himself, being drunk, not running the business, not wanting to pay Canelo really what, what, what he could have. Canelo and Oscar broke ways. He went to Eddie Hearn, the zone. They had the checkbook. Start paying this man real money. Okay, so he didn't turn him into a pay-per-view attraction. If anything, he's the one that made him to this mega millionaire with the type of money that, that he had from the zone to give him. All right, so so that's fair to say. But to say that he turned Canelo to a pay-per-view attraction, that's all false. So continuing on with this whole drama, Crawford, Spence, uh, the, the BLK Prime, Eddie Hearn, who knows what's going to happen with uh, with Crawford and Havana Cien, but I'm telling you all, it's going to be a tough fight for Terrence Crawford. I just have, I feel deep down that Terrence Crawford may be overlooking him a little bit. I'm not saying the fantasy is going to win, but I'm saying we may see Crawford get buzzed, get touched. Crawford Crawford has said in interviews that he knows the fantasy is tough. See, people need to go back and watch this guy fantasy in fights. Yeah, he had the one loss, came back, since then had six KOs. Yeah, you can look at the opponents and say, you know, whatever, they weren't Terrence Crawford. But... but it's not the best boxer who wins fights. It's the fighter, it's the boxer who fights the best on that night. And there's just been so many distractions with Crawford. He's doing, had to do more interviews than he's ever done before. I still think the promotion of his fight has been, I think if anything, the people on social media are the ones who promoted the fight for Crawford and BLK Prime. Because everyone's been talking about it. Look, I'm doing a video on it. So it's getting a promotion. But I just, I still think he could have been promoted, promoted better by BLK Prime. But Terrence Crawford has 
been probably doing more interviews than what we're accustomed to seeing. And that could be some distractions. He's at home. Um, and, you know, maybe that creates a certain level of comfort, but also with that comes distractions. So I'm just, I'm really excited to see what happens in this fight. But after this, do not expect to see Spence and Crawford. I'm telling y'all right now. I've said this before in other videos. I'm going to say it again. Don't expect to see Spence versus Crawford because these mandatories, like this is the, we're ending the year on a positive note as far as what fans can expect from the sanctioning bodies and the, the bouts they're trying to comprise for us. But as we enter the new year, 2023, um, as far as the wish list of seeing maybe Fury and Usyk, uh, seeing Crawford and, and, and Spence, don't don't cross your fingers, man. Don't cross. I mean, matter of fact, you need to cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your legs, cross the T's, cross the street. Why the chicken cross the road? Call the Red Cross, hot cross buns. There needs to be a whole lot of crossing going on. Because I just think with these mandatories and this whole thing about going automatically going to purse bid on these fights, which forces the hand of the sanctioned bodies to not make unifications, to not make undisputed fights. It forces them to make the mandatories, uh, the mandatory fight to get an opportunity. I think now that that kind of cat is out the bag on how to, you know, kind of uh, uh, freeze unifications and undisputed bouts, I think we're going to see it happen. You know, these guys, if it doesn't happen, it's because they're going to get paid huge amounts of step aside money. Huge amounts. But a lot of these guys have already been paid. Some, I know Hergovic's been paid, and I think. Uh, uh, Stan Yunus has been paid already. They don't want to keep stepping aside. Stan Yunus is pissed. You see the post he's putting out there. He's like, F um, politics and boxing. Because he missed, he wants to fight three times a year. He missed uh, shit, like six months out of the year. Waiting around to see what the hell Crawford and Spence were going to do. As a result, he's been inactive. So he's pissed. And now he got to go next year, coming off of being inactive, against a killer, Virgil Ortiz. So, I'm going to stop right there because I covered a lot of stuff in other videos already. But for Terrence Crawford, man, and, and this weekend, I'm telling you, I'm going to be watching, man. I, I can't wait to see how this whole this whole thing plays out. Very interested to see how this fight works out. But I'm telling you all right now, man, you know, do not expect to see no Crawford versus Spence. Don't expect to see it. But Crawford did what he had to do for his family. I get it. But um, to go on and to possibly make three, now that I know he's making $7 million, Still not bad money, but it is what it is. I just think him and Spence can make so much more. I hope they can make it work, but I just don't think we're going to see it. But then again, money talks, and we'll find out. That being said, Eddie Hearn out here hating because he doesn't want this platform to do what he couldn't do over there with the zone, which is to build a star. Now, Crawford's already a star. We'll see if they can take other guys under their wing and build them into stars and do it. Uh, at half the price of what Eddie Hearn was having to pay guys to source to source their talent. But we'll see. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, people from all seven continents. As always, I'm in the breeze.